Scorpio, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for December 2018, the end of the year, and we get to take a deep breath. How great is that? We have done some eclipsing, we've done some retrograding, and now we kind of get to slide in and take a deep breath, and that's a really good kind of deal. So let's talk about that. Actually, before we jump in, don't forget that the blog is up now at stormygrace.com, or you can click in the description box down below so that you can catch all the major astrological transits and aspects that are happening for December. It's all written out for you. I also give you a little blurb on how to relate it to your own personal chart so that you're not not missing absolutely anything so make sure you check it out okay all right Scorpio so first and foremost you've got a lot of activity happening in your sign this month so this is very exciting but before we jump onto that I want to talk about the fact that we're coming into December with Uranus not only in retrograde but he's in retrograde in the sign of Aries which is lighting up the sixth house space for you so where you're gonna want to do as we come into um, December, what you're going to want to do is look back on the progression of things that have happened and changed in your career life, in your daily routine, in your health, in your mental health, especially if you've had a head injury or anything like that. Look back. Where did you start seven years ago and where are you today? And celebrate the progress. You've got to see where you were so that you can see where you were going. Also, I really would love for you to focus in and pay attention until March on the attitudes, actions, and behaviors that you have that are still keeping you in your own way in this sixth house area, which is the house of work, daily routine, health routines, um, service, co-workers, freelance work. Where do you need to think outside of the box to get some resolution to these potential areas okay so Aries is about your identity so you've got to get what you think it should look like out of the way so that you can progress it forward okay so keep that in mind through December and all the way then and through March okay now at the beginning of the month here on the second we've got Venus coming into Scorpio obviously your sign it's lighting up the first house space for you and just on the sixth we've got Mercury coming direct in Scorpio as well so a lot of actionable social energy happening in your sign with Venus coming there in your sign because she's direct you could be wanting to beautify yourself maybe you're like it's time for the post birthday haircut it's time to just show off my style a little bit um, something like that. You could just be freshening yourself up. And with Mercury, you may be communicating um, yourself differently out in the world. You could be talking about some different things. You could also be talking about you differently. Are you updating your social profiles? Are you putting yourself out there differently? Are you showing up in your life with the people around you differently? Your communication and how beautifully you're showing up or harmoniously you're available to show up is something that becomes evident in this first little bit of the month. So use and lean into that energy. In the United States, it's a time of holidays. It's celebrations. Be nice. You know, enjoy it. Enjoy the festivities. Enjoy people being social with you at the beginning of the month. When we get here to the 7th, we've got a new moon happening in Sagittarius, along with the sun and Jupiter being over here as well. Sagittarius is just the next door neighbor. So the second house is where you have the opportunity for new beginnings, okay? With the new moon, we plant our seeds of intention. We want to begin something new. Now, you've had all of this energy at the beginning of the month with Venus and Mercury putting you out there different. So maybe what's happening in your second house is because you've put yourself out there, you've got a job opportunity. You've got a promotion opportunity. You've got an opportunity to bring value, bring finance your way. It's also phenomenal for your self-esteem. Now on the 12th, we've also got Mercury moving over into Sagittarius. So you see what I mean? Your second house energy is also gifted then with the forward motion of Mercury as well. So you're thinking, you're decisive, you're clear, you're speaking in a way that's maybe making you very magnetic and attracted. We really do attract money and opportunity and resources resources to us. So I think all in all, one of the themes that I really feel for you in December um, of this year is that you really have a confidence boost on your hands in this first half of the month. And I think it carries you nicely, Scorpio, through the second half of the month as well. Now on the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening in Cancer. This is going to light up your ninth house. The full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. We need to create a shift here, and we've got to let go of something in some way, shape, or form, okay? 
but with the full moon it's also a very big spotlight on you so one of the things that could be happening it's around the holiday time maybe you've been thinking about all of these mundane things like life and work and the kids and you're like when do we get to party like when is it going to be fun you know you could definitely be ready for some fun in this ninth house area you could be ready for some travel some expansion some something different right so if that's the energy that's also coming to the table enjoy that the full moon is trying to make space for you to have that other things I think of is maybe you're ending um, or even going on break with an educational program a training a certification um, the full with the full moon here I don't know that you would necessarily be publishing or broadcasting something at this particular time anything new anyways um, you could be doing your wrap-up uh, for the calendar year of publishing or broadcasting or you know if you do calendars or you do something like that you could definitely have that going on as well now on the other side of that we've got the Sun moving into Capricorn which is going to light up that third house so your mental houses are alive and are active here at the end of the year the Sun says look here I am see me this is where I want to be known this is what I want you to see me do look 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 right and it's over here in the third house so you could be teaching something studying something doing some short distance travel lots of communication is definitely going to be happening right so maybe your communication com communicationing <laughs> i made that up maybe you're communicating with um people who live further from you and you're you're talking about making a trip happen or something like that it's just again it's a very social but travel-y kind of energy i think that the sun here in the third house as well is very good for you for networking. If you need to bring new people into your sphere, network the heck out of this. If you've been trying to write that book, update that website, this is energy that will definitely help you get that done because the sun is bringing vibrance here. It's a lot of vibrance. It's also an energy I'm getting for you, Scorpio, where you could have siblings. Um, involved in conversation in some way shape or form maybe you're traveling to meet each other or you're just having a conversation it's a really nice social energy and a nice deep breath that december seems to bring for us so i look forward to seeing what this has brought to your table please tell me how things are manifesting for you down below um, like this video comment share subscribe and i look forward to seeing you across the bridge in 2019 all right i love you guys bye